Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging system of equations. Here we have two equation x square plus y square is equal to 1 and 3x minus 4x cube times 3y minus 4y cube equal to negative half. We have to evaluate x plus y. xy belongs to real numbers. I will solve this system using trig and trigonometric identities. So let's get started by writing three powerful trigonometric formulas or identities. The very first one is sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Second trigonometric identity that is sin 3 theta formula. So sin 3 theta is equal to 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. Third one is cosine 3 theta formula. It is 4 cos theta minus 3 cos cube theta. Now let me write our substitution. If I will substitute x is equal to sine theta and y is equal to cos theta. So equation number 1 will become sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So I can use the very first identity and then we can verify it is true. Now come to equation number 2. So let me write equation 2 after substitution. So I will write in bracket 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. This is the identity number 2 sin 3 theta formula. Second bracket we can write 3 cos theta minus 4 cos cube theta equal to minus half. Now I will take minus common from this bracket. And first bracket is using identity 2. We can write it is sin 3 theta. And once I will take minus out, it will become minus in bracket we can write 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta and RHS is minus half. Now you can see this bracket now we will write using this identity cos 3 theta. So ultimately this will become minus sin 3 theta minus times sin 3 theta times cos 3 theta equal to minus 1 by 2. Multiply with minus 1 both sides. So equation will become sin 3 theta times cos 3 theta equal to half. Now multiply both sides with 2. So 2 sin 3 theta times cos 3 theta equal to 1. 2 times half is 1. Now you can see 2 sin a cos a. So sin 2a. So I will write sin 6 theta because 2 sin theta cos theta equal to sin 2 theta. So sin 6 theta is equal to 1. Now I will write general solution for this equation first. So general solution will be 6 theta is equal to n pi plus minus 1 raised to the power n alpha. In this case it is pi by 2 because 1 is equal to sin pi by 2. This is our general solution. Now I want to write principal solution as we know sin and cosine both should be positive in first quadrant. So this equation will hold true for theta lying in between 0 and pi by 2. So principal solution if we are calculating I have to consider n0. Here n belongs to integer. So let us put n equal to 0. So I will be writing 6 theta is equal to 0 plus pi by 2. So 6 theta is equal to pi by 2. Divide both sides with 6. Theta will be equal to pi over 12. Now theta is pi over 12 and we have to evaluate x plus y value. So let us put 
x plus y after putting theta is equal to pi over 12. So I will be writing x plus y equal to our substitution was x sin theta, y cos theta. Now in place of theta, I will be writing sin pi over 12 plus cosine pi over 12. If I will put pi is equal to 180 degrees, then in degrees, it is sine 15 degree plus cosine 15 degree. Let's calculate now what is the value of sine 15 and cosine 15. So I will use trigonometry once again. Sine 15 would be, I will write sine of 45 minus 30 degree. 45 minus 30 is 15. Now sine A minus B. So we can write sine A cos B minus cos A sin b so sin 30 now let's put the value sin 45 is root 2 over 2 or 1 by root 2 cos 30 is root 3 over 2 minus cos 45 root 2 over 2 or 1 by root 2 sin 30 is 1 over 2 so i can write it is root 3 over 2 root 2 minus 1 over 2 root 2 so ultimately sin 15 is root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2. Now let's calculate cosine 15 or cos 15. Cos 15 will be similar way we can find out 45 minus 30 in this manner or we can use sine square theta plus cosine square theta equal to one identity also. So let us use cos a minus b formula. So cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so sin 45 sin 30 cos 45 is 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2 cos 30 root 3 over 2 plus sin 45 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2 sin 30 1 over 2 so I will write it is root 3 over 2 root 2 plus 1 over 2 root 2. So cosine 15 will become root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2. Now let's find out x plus y value. I will write x plus y equal to sine 15 degrees or pi over 12 plus cosine 15 degrees. This value is root 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2 plus cosine 15 is root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2. Denominator is common. So I will write 2 root 2 like this. Then root 3 minus 1 plus root 3 plus 1. 1 1 will be over. So it will become 2 square root 3 over 2 root 2. Now 2, 2 will be over. If I will multiply root 3 over root 2, numerator, denominator with root 2, then it will become root 6 over 2. And this is our ultimate and final answer. So the expression value of x plus y is root 6 over 2. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.